Welcome back to the channel everyone. We get to do another iPhone comparison today and we're looking at two phones that actually came out at the same year but they're two totally different demographics of one another and those two phones are the iPhone XR and the iPhone XS Max and when these phones first got released the iPhone XS Max was selling for $1099, the iPhone XR was selling for $749, and they were selling for two totally different demographics. The iPhone XS Max was the top tier flagship, it was like the Lamborghini at the time. The iPhone XR was that like mid-class, I would say, <laughs> this is such a horrible analogy. The iPhone XR was the more budget-friendly phone of the Apple series, and this was a pretty smart thing for Apple to do. It ended up being the best-selling iPhone for that year, and I think it's still one of the best-selling iPhones now. And the iPhone XS Max was the most expensive, you guys already know. I mean, that was thing was crazy good at that time, but then the Pro Max came out and totally showed what everything was wrong with the XS Max, including the battery life. So let's go and see how these phones compare in 2020. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because, first of all, I do every video. I'm doing all videos, so that you guys already know that. But the main thing is, is that it's so interesting to see the depreciation of both phones. Now, the iPhone XS Max is not being sold in the Apple stores anymore, so there's no way to actually, like, verify the price in the used market they're just kind of going by what other people are selling them for and of course they depreciate in the long run but the iphone 10r is still being sold in the apple store and brand new that phone is selling for 599 the iphone 10 is max right now on amazon is selling for about 600 on ebay it's about 560 but in most other cases it's about 600 ish so you're paying you know only a little bit more for a 10s max in the used market versus a brand new iphone 10r but on Amazon, the iPhone XR is selling for about $437, so a little bit of a difference right there, about a $200 difference. So let's see which one is worth it in terms of your money and your pockets. <laughs> Was that a good thing to say? I don't know. Now the iPhone XR on the front has a 6.1 inch liquid retina display. That one is 828 by 1792 and it is an IPS panel and it's not OLED or anything but I think at the end of it it still has a pretty decent panel I think we kind of gave it like a lot of flack when it came out first but I think now it's kind of held up and it's definitely showed its stuff and I think it's definitely held up for the most part and I think the iPhone XS Max obviously has a better panel but the iPhone XR is still good enough in my opinion the XS Max though has a 6.5 inch super retina OLED display that one is 1242 by 2688 and obviously the tennis bags has the better panel not only is it bigger which more people might like but there's less bezel on the front and it just looks better and feels better in the hand but the tennis bags panel for sure is better than the iphone 10r but the iphone 10r's panel is still pretty good but you're again you're paying for the tennis max's panel not necessarily for anything else maybe besides performance and maybe the camera as well so maybe i'll take that back you have lightning ports on the bottom no headphone jacks or anything and on the back there's another big difference you have a dual camera setup on the 10s max but a single camera setup on the iphone 10r and if you guys know me you might already know my opinion on this and i don't really like phones with single camera setups in 2020 i say at least have a dual camera setup and move on but i guess i'll hit on in the camera department video part now both phones have ip certification but it's a little bit different the iphone 10r has the ip67 dust and water resistance up to one meter of water for 30 minutes the iphone 10s max has ip68 dust and water resistance so you can go up to two meters of water for 30 minutes so a little bit of difference right there and not an insane one but that is something that you might want to keep in mind when you're picking up both phones so that pretty much covers it up in terms of really everything on the outside and funny enough i'm actually recording this segment of the audio like 20 minutes later or actually like two hours later now moving on to the software side of things there's a little bit of difference here that you guys probably already know but it's pretty much the exact same thing so the iphone 10r got released with ios 12 and the iphone 10s max got released with ios 12 and there's really nothing too different between them they have the same chipsets and everything so primarily they're really going to get the same exact software updates which is isn't a bad thing that's actually a really really good thing but in the future the only issue I kind of see is the check range jailbreak and even more so than the check range jailbreak is just jailbreaking in general the devices from about the 5s to the iPhone 10 are really the easiest devices to jailbreak right now the devices after those like the 10 or 10s and 10s max included these ones are the harder ones to jailbreak but the thing to keep in mind is that right now the uncovered jailbreak is actually going to be compatible again with iOS 13.3 and that is one of the latest versions that's still being signed today as of me making this video but it's probably going to be unsigned very very soon so that's one humongous thing to keep in mind if you're interested in jailbreaking go down to 13.3 or if you're watching this in the future you kind of missed your chance but you might be able to do it eventually but that's kind of one thing to keep in mind right there not a humongous thing but jailbreaking is one of those things that is really really easier on older iPhones than these two but if you don't care about it then it's not a big deal in terms of 
of software support and even stock software support, it's going to be lasting a very long time on both of these phones, so I wouldn't even worry about it. And one doesn't really have an edge over the other in terms of software, so that really kind of covers it up in terms of that. Now hitting on the performance, both phones have the same exact chipset and Apple 12 Bionic chips on both ones, hexa-core CPUs on both devices as well. So in terms of the performance, they're going to be about the same, but the really main differences is in terms of the RAM. So you have 3 gigabytes of RAM on the iPhone XR on all three models, the 64, 128, and 256 gigabyte models, whereas on the iPhone XS Max, you also have three storage models, the 64, 256, and 512 variants, but you have four gigabytes of RAM on all those models. So you have additional RAM on the iPhone XS Max over the iPhone XR, which might be a big deal to you. Some of you guys might care, but in terms of real world use, what I've been able to see is that both phones are extremely fast. You know, one doesn't necessarily feel faster than the other one, what I can tell you is in terms of the RAM management, there is a little bit of difference. I have found that my iPhone XS Max does have a better job and does give me a better job at RAM management over the iPhone XR. It's not a deal breaking thing, it's not a crazy thing, whatever, but it is one humongous thing to keep in mind. Whenever I use the iPhone XR, it's always smooth, it's always fast, really anything I throw at it, it does a great, tremendous job at it. The iPhone XS Max is more or less the same, really whatever I throw at it is fine, but like I said, the one thing that I always find is the RAM management being better on the iPhone XS Max, but whenever I load up apps, whenever I do multitasking, whenever I, you know, play heavy in games or whatever, like, it's all perfectly fine, I wouldn't even worry about it like that, so I wouldn't necessarily get one phone over the other in terms of, like, power performance or power or anything, but the iPhone XS Max might do you better in the long run because of that additional gigabytes of RAM. You also have to keep in mind the XS Max has the same amount of RAM as the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone 11 series, so this was the last time we saw a difference in RAM between the cheaper model and the more expensive model. Eventually with the iPhone 11 series, they all have the same amount of RAM, so that's really the only like crazy thing between these phones, but really regardless, they're both like, almost the exact same performing device, so that really kind of covers it up there as well. Now hitting on the cameras, there's a humongous difference here which I have to note. The single camera setup on the iPhone 12 megapixel sensor, <laughs> I said that's so weird. That's basically what the iPhone XR has. The iPhone XS Max has two 12 megapixel sensors, a wide angle lens and a telephoto lens. And on the front, seven megapixel cameras on both. They can go up to 1080p at 60 frames, which is really nice. So pretty much the exact same camera sensor on the front of both of these. But on the back, that's where you see the main difference. You have a dual camera setup on the iPhone XS Max and you can do 4K at 60 frames are both and really the quality is about the same I'll be honest but you have to keep in mind that as I've said in other videos and as I'm saying now you have to at least have a dual camera setup in 2020 like I understand quality is important and it is very important and sometimes it is more important than hardware but it's better to have both it's better to have a great quality camera and extra camera sensors than just having one or the other but I would still rather pick up a dual camera or triple camera setup whatever I can get my hands on over a single camera because in 2020 that's one of those things that's really evolved not just having a single camera lens but having multiple and multiple camera sensors so it's not a big deal it might not be a big deal to you but it's a very important thing for the longevity of a phone and if I'm being honest that's one of the things you have to keep in mind so even if the quality was the same on both I still feel like the 10s Max still has the better camera setup but also the huge advantage of having that extra camera sensor it's not a deal breaking thing but if you can do it I would way recommend doing it so between the camera sensors on both the iPhone 10s Max definitely has the advantage there but the iPhone 10R it's still a very good camera sensor at the end of the day. So that kind of covers it up there. Now ending it off with the battery life, the iPhone XR has a 2,942 mAh battery. The iPhone XS Max has a 3,174 mAh battery. And between them both, they both have pretty good battery life, but the iPhone XR definitely has a huge advantage here. The iPhone XR has the better battery life in my opinion. You're getting way better battery life, but you're also getting a lower resolution screen and technically lower performance so that really does aid in the battery life department. It's funny because we expect to have better performance and that just means it's a better phone overall but that's not necessarily the case. The iPhone XS Max has a bigger screen and is technically more powerful than the iPhone XS Max as well and the screen is higher resolution so you have to kind of keep that in mind. So between them both they both have pretty decent battery life combined but the iPhone XR definitely has a better battery life between them. So to kind of sum up the video and to answer the question, should you pick up an iPhone XR and save some money or should you spend some more money and get an iPhone XS Max? In my opinion, I would probably end up spending more money and getting an iPhone XS Max, but that's just me. I like having a bigger phone if I can get my hands on it. But it really, I, I think the iPhone XR is still really like up there with the iPhone XS Max. The XS Max was a 10 out of 10. The iPhone XR is probably like a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. Really, it's only lacking the OLED display. 
and that extra camera sensor. Other than that, even the performance isn't that big deal to me because it's still a very good performing phone. Between both of them, I would probably give the edge to the iPhone XS Max, but if you want to save some money and if you have to buy it brand new, the iPhone XR is probably a really really good way to go as well. But on top of that, the iPhone XR is cheaper in the used market than the iPhone XS Max, so I would highly recommend you picking it up in the used market for sure. You'll save some money and you'll end up getting almost the exact same phone at the end of the day. So, Like I said, if you want to pick these phones up for the prices that I said early on in this video, you can go down in the description, click the first couple links down there, they'll take you to Amazon, you can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.